So this video lesson is going to remind you how to graph lines. So for the first example, to draw a line through a given point with a given slope, you can follow these steps. Draw a line through the point negative 2, 5, which has a slope of negative 3. So we're going to start with step 1 by plotting a point at negative 2, 5. So we go across the x-axis to negative 2, up the y-axis to positive 5, and plot our point there. Next, we need to know the rise and the run of our slope. And in this particular case, our slope is an integer value. So we're going to make it a fraction, which means we're going to put it over 1. This will help us identify the rise as well as the run. From this point, we are going to draw the rate triangle using the rise and run. So what that means is we're going to go down three spaces for our rise. Since our rise is negative, we move down and then we move one space to the right for our positive run. When you get to that end, step four tells us to plot a second point, and then we can connect the two dots with a line, extend it in both directions, and we are done. I do sometimes like to repeat this a couple times, over three, or down three rather, over one, down three, over one. The more points we can gather together, the easier it's going to be to draw a nice straight line. Now, sometimes as well, depending on where my initial point is and which direction my line is going, I like to put points in the opposite direction as well. So for this example, we're going down 3 and right 1. To go in the opposite direction, you can just completely reverse those instructions. So instead of down 3, we're going to go up 3 and then left 1. So you reverse both your rise and run. That'll get you points in the other direction. This is also helpful if we have a point high up on the graph and we're trying to go upwards, it takes us off the graph. It'll allow us to get points in the opposite direction and draw a nice line. Now when you do your line, one of two options would be to extend it in both directions until that line hits the edges of the graph, just like this. If you don't want to extend it all the way to the end, you should have an extended line, but make sure you put arrows on the end indicating that it is continuing. So coming down here for example number two, to graph this line we start by plotting the point 3 comma 4. So across the x-axis to 3, up the y-axis to 4, plot that point. Here my rise is given in the fraction 2 and my run is also clear with the fraction slope 3. So it's positive this time, we're going to rise 2, and we're going to run 3 to the right, plot your dot, rise 2, run 3. If you want to reverse that, instead of going up 2, right 3, we could go down 2, left 3, plot your point. Down 2, left 3, plot your point. Put your line on the grid, extend it, either extend it all the way to the end of the graph, or toss some arrows on the end to indicate it continues in both directions. Okay, A few things to keep in mind if the slope is zero, remember it's a horizontal line, so you plot your point and you can just extend that line horizontally. If the slope is undefined, we know it's vertical, so plot your point, draw your vertical line. And if you see a negative sign like this one here sitting in front of your fraction, only one piece is negative. So we like to stick it up in the top, make that rise negative, keep our run positive, so that we're always running to the right. If you do see a negative on top and bottom, negative divided by a negative, they always cancel out, so it is positive. So that shouldn't happen, you should be seeing that. So right now I'd like you to pause the video, try out the next five examples here, and then come back on to check the answers with the solutions in the video. So pause it up now and get those done. All right, welcome back. So you'll notice example three, make sure your line's going down from left to right, negative slope. Number four, it's a positive, so your line's going upwards from left to right. And five and seven also have negative slopes, so they're both going downwards, where number six is going upwards with that positive slope. You may have noticed for six and seven, when you plotted your point and you try to rise and run, that point ends up off of your graph. So you have to reverse your instructions. So instead of up five, right three, we're going down five and left three, and that gives you an additional point, so you can draw a nice line. Same happened over here, seven, negative nine. If you went down three over one, we end up off the graph, so we had to extend in the opposite direction by reversing our instructions. 
So hopefully you're good with graphing lines. That's your video for today.